that he'll leave the club in a better place. Do you think that when when Klopp leaves, that Liverpool will will continue, that the structures are there behind the scenes, that the squad is now there, that it will be, if not seamless, then at least they will compete at that level? Or is his presence, that the, the sort of magnitude of him as a character, going to leave a massive vacuum there? To be honest with you, Tommy, I, I think there will be. Uh, it'll be lacking for a little while. I think when you look at Xavi Alonso, he's reportedly been offered the Liverpool job. I wanted to, to sit in the room and speak to the Liverpool hierarchy, but he's not too interested at this moment in time. And I think he's looking down the road and thinking with, with Klopp leaving, with the impact he's had on the club, for me, it's only inevitable there's going to be a little bit of a lull. So the next man in... You know, I, I think people like Xavi Alonso are having a look at it and think, I don't really leave it fancy. a while. I think, yeah, leave it a while. Like, I know he, he didn't have the same amount of years as Alex Ferguson at Manchester United, but I think he's had the same sort of impact in, in a shorter period. Nowhere near the same amount of trophies, but the way he's got the, the whole of the club on side, the way he's got the whole of the fans on side, I think it's been absolutely brilliant. And I think it's inevitable he will be missed him, yeah. even with the amount of talent they have and the structure he's leaving behind him. He's left Liverpool in a much better place than he picked them up, but... I do think there'll be a drop-off. 300 not out in terms of games. Won, uh, trophies won as well. He's won almost well, pretty much everything apart from uh, the Europa League uh, in that time. And one of the other interesting things there he talked about, Brian, is that, that rebuilding thing. And maybe, I don't know, people will look back in this season and, and say, what a job they did in rebuilding the, the, the squad after the disappointment of last season. But he did say there that he didn't do it after the, the, the previous season when they lost the Champions League. They lost that quadruple chase. I wonder... Could he have been more ruthless at that time and, and, and evolved the team earlier than he did? Well, I think he also mentioned that he, he wasn't prepared, not in that interview, but another interview I saw that he wasn't prepared to put the, the club under financial pressure by over-demanding stars that were going to cost massive money. Now, they paid some very substantial fees for many of the squad they had, but most people feel that, they, generally, they got very good value. Apart from Nunes, who has been hit and miss, but he's still doing very well and scoring a fair number of goals. But in the big matches like last Sunday against Manchester United, he was found wanting when he wasn't clinical enough in both the matches against Manchester United, actually. But in general, the spending has been, the money has been wisely spent. He said that in, it was in relation to the tickets and the protest mm. tonight about the rise in prices, the tickets and the season tickets. He said, I can tell the supporters that there was no money wasted. The money was all invested in the football, back into the football. Football. So I think it's he, he has been very careful. Whether he was ruthless enough or too close to the team, it's easy to make that a statement. But I think overall, over the number of years, to maintain their presence there and thereabouts this year playing the Europa League because obviously they had a poor season in the league last yeah. year. But in general, they've been very competitive against... Manchester City in particular, who seem to have no uh, no such limits to the yeah, amount of spending there, like on... The, the list of, of honours, like we, we just see there, and Keith touched on that there, that it's pretty impressive, but you have to remember that City being around, it probably would have been even more impressive had they not yeah, been Yeah, and, the and they're still in the situation. Manchester City, the 115 charges against them, that are outstanding. And we have to wait and see what the outcome of that. We've had the situation where they were, they <clears> ended up being fined seriously by UEFA for over overspending, having had a situation they were suspended for. So, But do you, you think, know, just on that point, the question I ask Keith about the legacy and whether he's set up structures that whoever, like Ruben Amarim was the talk this week, the Sporting Lisbon manager, actually who Atalanta locked, knocked out in the last round, that would have been interesting. He's sort of said, listen, I'm focusing on, on, on sporting at the moment. One of the names, Xabi Alonso, is not coming, but whoever takes over that it is sort of set up to just continue as, as it was. Well, I think he, he, whoever gets the job is inheriting a very, very good squad. I've seen some stuff about uh, Diaz possibly moving on and P PSG maybe trying to buy him. I think Liverpool will be in that position where there will be clubs. Not many now. Probably PSG are, are, are the only one who could afford to buy one of their stars. And remember the team was built, this team was built on the money from Coutinho, which was spent mm. very wisely at the time. There was a lot of spec and might struggle. But um, the, the, whoever inherits it will be getting a very good team of a very good age. Not too many ageing players. Van Dijk, one of the older players in the team. A youthful squad. 
and plenty of potential with the young players that we've seen force into the team this year with the injuries. Kwanzaa in general uh, d- 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 does very, very well. McAllister's come in, Curtis Jones has come into his own, Harvey Elliott playing fairly regular, he's only 21 and we've seen some of the other players that made contributions in the Cup, the likes uh, of Clark and Bazatech, Bacetech, we haven't seen anything yeah. of him this year. So I think It'll, but whoever gets it will also want to put his own imprint in it and bring in a couple of, of his own players. And that could make a difference. I'm not so it's sure. Be big shoes in terms a, of that, that I don't, I don't personality think, wise. Though. I don't think there'll be a big lull. I don't agree right. with Keith. That, uh, I think it'll be a hard job. But I, I, do, I think it's set up in good shape for someone to continue on competing at the top four level. Whether they can continue to compete it won't be the, at the, the very the, top is another the, the, matter. The, the post Fergie type of, uh, type of situation. I think that's unlikely. Okay. 